Welcome to the West Winds Breviary. We trust these short online services will inspire you and ennoble you, giving you hope and courage as you shadow God in the redemption of the world. Grace and peace, everybody. Welcome to the West Winds Breviary. We all hoped for peace. We thought this would be over. We are not yet saved. When you come into view, Jesus, shape me, rearrange me, Lord, do what you need to do. In the morning when I rise, set my mind on you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You Expectations when you come into view, Jesus, shake me, rearrange me, Lord, do what you need to do. In the morning, lift my eyes, set my heart on you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You are the fall. Jeremiah chapter 8, verse 15. We looked for peace, but no good came. For a time of healing, but behold, terror. And then skipping over to verse 20. The harvest is past, the summer is ended, and we're not saved. For the wound of the daughter of my people is my heart wounded. I mourn and dismay has taken hold on me. Is there no balm in Gilead? Is there no physician there? Why then has the health of the daughter of my people not been restored? Now, Jeremiah is commonly referred to as the weeping prophet. He's one of the towering figures of the Old Testament, writing two books, Jeremiah, and then a poetic book called Lamentations. And a, a lament is a sad poem expressing a sense of disappointment. And it's a prayer because you take this disappointment and you aim it towards God. You're not just wallowing. You are sacralizing your disappointment, sanctifying it by, bringing it, by trusting God with it. By saying, okay, God, wh where are you? And over and over and over again, you read in the in the, both the prophetic works of Jeremiah and the poetic works of Jeremiah, this sense that like, like God just didn't show up in the way that we wanted. And, and it's probably our fault and we got ourselves into this mess, but where are you, God? Why aren't you helping us? We, we, we looked for a time of peace and it didn't show up. We, we thought this would be over and it's still going on. We looked for a time of healing, but... But there's no healing yet. There's just more and more terror. And I think increasingly you and I are going to find solace, comfort, and direction in the writings of the prophet Jeremiah. Because like us, Jeremiah looked at his whole world turned upside down. 
the city that he loved, the people to whom he belonged, his whole entire calling, everything was, was shattered around him. And he was grieving and frustrated and disappointed in God's people and, and, in, and in God. And what begins to emerge through the writings of the prophet Jeremiah, is this, and I think this is a critical question for you and I, and a critical, a critical issue for you and I to wrap our heads around, is that this is this is our world, like th this is it. No one's coming to save us. I mean, yes, we ultimately hope for the full, final eschatological salvation of Jesus Christ, where He fully and finally heals the world. That's not happening tomorrow. I mean, maybe it could, it could happen now, but but it didn't, and it probably won't happen now. Because for thousands of years, we've been waiting for him to show up and, and just sort of fix everything. And this is the issue that Jeremiah presents that you and I have to wrestle with. Suffering is the question the world keeps asking. And God answers with you, with me. We are God's response to the problem of evil. We are God's solution to the great um, clustered mess uh, of COVID-19, 2020, and, and the great tensions of the world. You want to know how the world gets better? When we get better. You, you want to know when the healing starts? It's when we show up and work as healers instead of as divisionaries, instead of as, as fractionaries, instead of as fighters. Now is the time for you and I to do the great work of healing. And we keep encouraging you to do this, and we keep modeling it for you, and you're catching on, and you're getting it, and you're encouraging others, and they're catching on, and they're getting it. And continually, as we continue to elevate our role as God's agents and healers in this world, we will work with God to ensure a more positive future. That's a, a long way away, or at least it feels that way sometimes. But the truth is, the only way this gets better is when we do. And the great news is, God has given us the power to do just that by His Spirit and for His glory. Where can I run from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence, God? are there If I go up to the heavens If I sink down to the ocean floor You are there You created me with your own hands And I am Fly away and try to make my best escape You are there Even if I could hide away And try to conceal my mistakes You are there Where 
is our healer? Is it possible that God sent us in his place? We are but poor substitutes, though the Spirit works through us. Grace and peace, everybody. May the Spirit of Jesus ennoble you and empower you every day.